<clears throat> hello, Aunt Linda, Uncle Terry, hello. Well, I guess I'll just go sit on the bed. Peyton, 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 oh, you're here. Welcome. Oh, hi, Aunt Linda. I am so glad that you're here. Come give me a hug. Oh, hello, sweetie. Okay, Aunt Linda, you can get off me now. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I just, I'm so happy that you're here. I was waiting for this moment. Wait, so you were waiting for my mother to get in a car crash? Are you bonkers? Of course I never wanted your mother to get in a car crash. Ugh, why would I ever want that to happen? Well, you did say that you were waiting for this time to come. Oh, I meant for you to arrive here. I would never want my twin sister to die. That's just crazy. I know, but let me just go get the rest of the stuff out of the car. Okay, then. Well, I might as well just start unpacking my backpack. Alright, I got my phone, my laptop, my journal and pen, my sunglasses and sunglasses case, my headphones, and my picture of my mother. And I had to bring that to make me cry every night. Why did I do that? I got your stuff! Oh my gosh, Aunt Linda, you scared me! Sorry, but I did get your stuff. You did pack pretty light. Well, I didn't want to bring too much. You know what? Tomorrow we're going to go shopping and get you some new room accessories and some new clothes. I'm not saying that your fashion sense is bad or anything. It's just... I know what you mean, Aunt Linda. Thanks. Oh, it's no problem. You just start unpacking. I'll leave you. All right. <sighs> I better get started. Last thing and I'm done. Ah. <sighs> I'm thirsty. I think I'll go get some water. But where's the kitchen? I'll probably figure it out. No. Her mother wanted her to get the necklace, and she's the one getting it. Ma'am, if you could just please bring it over to the society building, we will take care of it immediately. No, you will not take care of it. You will just put it on exhibit, and it will not do good there. Ma'am, you must bring it over now, or else we are coming to your house and barging in and taking it from you. That is stealing, and her mother said Give it to her. If you're not fine with that, then too bad. Ma'am, no one will be happy with this decision. Well, I will, and her mother would. I'm just, I'm done. I'm giving the necklace to her, whether you want it or not. No, you're bringing the necklace to us. Goodbye. People these days, they don't know when to be quiet. <sighs> Makes no sense. Um, Aunt Linda? Oh, yes, sweetie. Um, I'm kind of thirsty. Could I have some water? Oh, of course, yes. Let me just grab it for you. Here you go. No, no. Shoo, shoo. I had work to do. Um, okay, bye. I can't let her know. Well, that was pretty weird. Well, at least she gave me water. Ugh, so refreshing. Well, I guess I could write in my journal. Well, let's get writing. Dear Diary, My aunt has been acting very, very weird today on my first day here. I asked her to get water, 
And then she kicked me out right after. Like I couldn't go in the fridge or anything, or stay there and talk to her. She was on the phone earlier, and I heard her shouting at somebody. I don't really want to know more about that, but I'm also very curious. It's a very rough day the first day. I mean, it was very relaxed, but there's nobody outside. It's like the only house for miles. That's not something that I really like. There's no friends to play with, and she doesn't have anything like a basketball hoop. Even though my mom and my aunt were twins, she reminds me nothing of my mom. I was kind of hoping that they would be somewhat similar, and then it would be like I'm living with my mom again, not like I'm living with my crazy aunt. I do love my aunt, though, and she's very nice, and I'm glad that she can take me in. I know that she misses my mother as well, and I miss her very much. I wish I could see her again. Well, that's it for today. Love, Peyton. Oh, Peyton! Oh, no! I have to hide this somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry, diary journal thing. I'd like to give you something, and I hope that, that you really enjoy it. Um, Aunt Linda, you can just talk in your regular voice. You don't need an accent. I mean, I, I don't have... I mean, this is a natural accent. No, it's not. I heard you on the phone today. Did you hear everything on the phone? Uh, I didn't hear everything. I just heard you shouting at somebody. Did you hear any words at all? No. Good. Okay. Oh, right. We're all right, then. I'm sorry, I just didn't want to get mixed up with your mom for once. Even though she's dead, I didn't want you to think that I'm your mom, not your aunt. Why would I ever think that? Well, people at the supermarket today thought that I was your mother and that I came back to life. And then some people thought that I was your mother and that I died instead. And it's so annoying, so I started speaking in an accent so people could tell us apart. Well, I know that it's you. Well, I know that. Can I sit down? Why, of course. I mean, I don't care. It's technically not my bed. No, it's your bed. You live here, so it's your bed. Well, I thought I'd never find a home. I'm really happy to be living here. Oh, it's no problem. Your mother wanted me to give you something. Wow, it's a key necklace. I've always wanted one of these. Thanks. Oh, it's not any old key necklace. It's a very special key necklace. And you must keep it safe at all times. If anybody tries to get it, you must fight them. They must never, ever lay their hands on that necklace. Do you understand? Yes, of course. I'll keep it safe no matter what. And don't even pay the highest money. Even if they pay the highest money... You will not trade with them. People try to get their hands on this necklace. It's very special, but I can't tell you the effects of it. Uh, well, what if I don't want it? You're gonna want it. Well, actually, nobody's gonna want it. Everybody thinks that they want it. But it's very special, and you must take care. <sighs> I have to go. I have a phone call to make. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe.